Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. Welcome and thank you for being here. Today we are going to have a yin yoga class, but with a little twist. Now, before we begin, I would like to give a bit of context to what we're doing. So if you don't fancy listening to me chatting about yin yoga, then please feel free to skip me all the way up to this minute and go ahead and start with the class. So for those who have never seen or taken or heard about yin yoga before, you will notice that the main difference with other asana practices is that in this case, we will be holding the poses for longer periods of time. Rather than a vinyasa class that we go, we flow from one pose to the other one, in here we will take approximately three, four, depending on the pose, minutes holding each of the poses. So today I'm not going to go into big detail to the history behind yin yoga, but if you would like me to make a video about it, please leave a comment below and I will explain in more detail and more depth where does yin yoga come from and why is it the way it is. What I do want you to consider is that because we are going to be holding the poses for longer periods of time, this not only can create a lot of space in our physical and our emotional bodies, but it can also bring up a lot of sensations and feelings and emotions. And I would like you, I invite you to be very sensitive to this and really be honest and listen to your body, listen to what you are feeling, to what you are experiencing, and of course, modify, stop, pause or change the position as we go as much and as often as you want. Now, the last thing I want to mention is that, as I said before, this class will have a little twist to it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to be really focusing on our breath. So in order to help our attention to really be focused on keeping a soft and smooth breath, what I will recommend, I will suggest you join me with this, is we're going to use a resistant band. We're going to wrap it in different heights of our torso. And this will help us have even more focus on our breath because the resistant band offers this stimuli right outside that we can use to keep our breath expansive and fluid. So as I said before, we're going to use a resistance band. So if you have one, please bring it to you. If you do not own one, you can do absolutely everything without it. Or you could perhaps use a pair of long leggings um, that they are quite stretchy, so they, you, you can use them for this. And of course, if you have blocks or if you want to use cushions, posters, bring absolutely everything you would like to use in your practice with you and let's get started. All right, so we are going to start in a seated position. If you would like to sit up on a block or if you want to kneeling, perhaps, or on a bolster, just choose, the, choose a comfortable seated position. Grab your resistance band, should you have one. And once you are there, I would like you to wrap your resistance band around, around the height of your navel. So. I hope I don't interfere too much with the mic. Mine is going to be slightly higher because I have exactly the mic there. But more or less where your navel is, covering the navel. What I do want you to be careful is not strain your breath, okay? Try to wrap the band as lightly as you can. Once you found your comfortable position, I invite you to close your eyes. If you don't feel like closing your eyes today, perhaps you want to soften your gaze down or keeping your eyes open. Rest your hands, whatever they feel comfortable, either on your lap. But I would like you to place your palms facing up. Now from there, take a big inhale and roll the shoulders back. Grow tall through your spine, up through the crown of the head and ground through your seat bones or the parts of your body that are connected to the ground. And I would like you to take two very deep breaths, inhaling through the nose 
exhale inside it out through the mouth one more time inhale exhale out let your breath go back to its effortless rhythm I want you, I invite you to make a little scan of your body if there are any tensions use your breath to melt the tension away remember to breathe deeply elongate your breath and connect to your emotions to what you're feeling right now and I want you already to start perceiving this band around your body this resistance being offered to your breath and I want you to notice what changes does this make to your breath to your body as it breathes let's take one more big release in breath inhale through the nose exhale side it out you could choose throughout the whole practice to keep your eyes closed if you wish to you can just follow the sound of my voice and my instructions to change positions but it's okay if you want to open your eyes when we change perhaps from pose to pose so very gently we're gonna start perhaps wiggling our fingers a little bit and let's play palms together rub your palms against each other creating a little bit of heat and warmth place both your hands over your eyes like creating these little caves for your eyes perhaps you can blink your eyes open once and then close them again release your hands down now unwrap the resistance band from your navel perhaps if you want to look open your eyes now just to see where I place the band now we're gonna wrap it on the upper chest so right where your armpit finishes <laughs> we wrap it again remember to not be don't be tough with the knot Just don't put it too 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 tough and uh, of course the resistance band should be the least um, tough of all perfect now we have it secure there there we go we are gonna move to a wide-legged child's pose so make yourself this is gonna be your first pose so make yourself there if you would like to have a bolster where you could lay on you could of course please do let's go to a wide-legged child's pose we are gonna be about three minutes in this pose so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know when we are closer to to finish in those three minutes but for now I would like you to inhale and grow tall and lengthen the spine and very gently little by little walking the hands forward all the way all the way forward rest your head on the mat or on the um, bolster if you want you could like I am doing right now, perhaps use a block to rest your forehead on. And I invite you to close your eyes if they were not already closed. Take a big deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale, side it out. And we arrive to this wide legged child's pose. And again, I want you to perceive the resistance of the band. How does my breath feel? Has my perception of my chest, my breath in general changed 
Now that the resistance band is on the chest rather than the belly. And every breath I want you to inhale and relax your tummy and let the air in, the tummy grows big. And when you exhale, there's a slight contraction that allows the air to flow out. And stay with your breath. And just check with any emotions, any feelings that might come up for you. How does the hip space feel now that we are in this position? I want you to lengthen your breath as much as you can. Lengthen the inhales and exhales. We are almost finishing, 40 seconds. See if you can go any deeper into the pose, into yourself. Use your breath to melt in the ground. And very gently, we are gonna get out of the pose. Walk your hands all the way up to seated. And we are gonna take a little rebound, as I told you before. Now the rebound is any pose that you would like any pose, not really, any movement, any position that you would like to rest on. So I am just going to rest. I usually choose the opposite to what I was doing. So if I was opening my hips, for example, I try to do a close hip. Anything that can allow me to rest from the pose I was before. Just for a little bit. Remember to keep breathing and don't worry about the shape. This doesn't have to be any shape. If you're like resting on the floor, all good. Even standing up. And we use this time to check with our energy. Where do we feel the energy moving around our body now? Perhaps on the hip space. Perhaps where your resistance band is. All right, and then we get out of our rebound and we are gonna walk to a sphinx. So basically we're gonna rest our belly on the mat. So take yourself there. Place your elbows underneath your shoulders. We lift the chest up. The glutes are engaged because it is a little bit of a back bend. And so I invite you to either stay in the Sphinx like this, or perhaps if you have a bolster, you could put the bolster across here. So it will give you a little bit more resting attitude. If not, if you don't have anything like me, perhaps you can use a block to rest your forehead on. However you find this position more comfortable, make yourself there. And once you've found the right place to be, take a big and deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Remember, the chest is shining forward. And again, we let ourselves into this pose, into the feelings and check if perhaps any pose brings you a little bit more discomfort. And I want you to notice 
if that discomfort is perhaps because the pose brings emotions or feelings that you're trying to avoid. Sometimes closing the eyes may take our view inside towards our inner experience. And it might be that it brings up maybe a little bit uncomfortable emotions. And I want you to work with them, to work through them. Use your breath to guide you back to yourself, to the present moment. And again, I invite you to use the resistance of the band to give you some information about your breath. Twenty seconds. Keep your breath soft, your glutes engaged. Very gently, little by little, we're going to move out of this pose. Remove the block, the bolster, and choose your rebound again you can choose any position that you want to even like a fetal position anything it's absolutely fine it's just to check again with the energy where is my energy flowing right now and breathe Very gently, we're gonna come to sit up. We're gonna take the band, move it back down to the navel, perhaps even lower, should you wish, even lower than the navel would be a good idea as well. Again, remember that this is for you to really use the breath to expand 360 because sometimes we tend to put the breath too much to the front and to, to up on the chest and the fact that we have this resistance band and we have to push out I want you to feel to push out through the whole entire roundness of your band so what we're going to do now perhaps you want to sit up on a block again we're going to use cross we're going to go into a cross leg seated position actually i'm going to face you amazing and once you are there we're going to inhale and sweep the arms all the way up exhale right arm goes back left arm goes across the right leg inhale we lengthen and exhale and we twist slightly the gaze goes back we're going to stay in here a little bit and again feel the breath and push out through the resistance band. Inhale and let the air go into your chest, your lungs, your belly expands and all your muscles relax and then you exhale and the air flows out of your body. Now, right there, we are going to open the arms out. We're still on the twist, but the arms are out long. The gaze still back. And then on your next inhale, we're just going to turn the head forward and look to our left hand. Inhale, remember to push out through the resistance band. You can close your eyes if you want to. And then release the arms and release the twist. Come back to center. Take a big inhale. And 
feel, perceive if there's a difference in each side of your body now that you have done that twist. Where's your energy flowing? On your next inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, left arm back, right arm across left leg. Inhale, lengthen the torso, lengthen the spine and exhale and we twist. Very gentle twist. Remember, we have to hold it for a little bit. And your gaze goes back. Perhaps your eyes are closed. And I want you to perceive the air flowing through you. Can you really feel that your body is pushing out around the whole band? 360 motion of your breath. Right there where you are, open your arms out long. Gaze stays back. Remember, if perhaps this is a little bit uncomfortable, you can always untwist slightly or take the arms lower and breathe relax the tummy on an inhale slight contraction on the exhale and on your next exhale we are going to turn just the head to look at the right hand with your eyes closed but towards the right hand Keep breathing and perceive if perhaps your body takes a different position. Perhaps one shoulder is higher than the other one. Keep on breathing, pushing out that resistance band or just your breath. On your next exhale, release the arms, release the twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, side out and perceive where is the energy running now, where do I feel it, feel how smooth and soothing your breath is for your body, for your mind, if at some point your thoughts start to dance around your head, Remember that you can always bring yourself back to the present moment by focusing on your breath, on the resistance band. Now from there, we are going to move the block away. Now make yourself to lay on your back. Keep your resistance band on the navel, over the navel, around. Stand your feet, knees are facing the ceiling. And on an inhale, grab your block, I'm sorry, grab your block. On an inhale, we're going to engage the glutes and lift to a half bridge. And we're going to do a restorative bridge so you can place the block on any height that you like more or less around the height of your sacrum. Try to keep the knees parallel to each other, so don't let them flare out too much because perhaps we arch the spine too much. And once you found the best height for you, you can also use cushions or the bolster to rest on. From there again, I invite you to close your eyes. Rest your palms facing up on both sides of you. Breathe through 
all the length of your entire spine. Feel the vertebras resting. I want you to perhaps scan from the top of your head down through your neck, your thoracic spine. Feel the weight on the mat go a little bit higher and feel, perceive the shape of your spine in this position. And again, I want you to have as a main task to focus on keeping a big releasing and fluid breath. every exhale we melt down the mat we release and we go a little bit deeper into the pose into our emotions remember to bring your mind back to your breath every time it goes for a walk I want you to perceive the energy flowing. Perhaps you can hear, feel your heart beating. 10 seconds to go. Very gently, we engage the glutes, we lift the hips up and release the block or the bolster or the cushion. And we're going to roll the spine vertebra per vertebra all the way down. And I invite you to choose a rebound position anywhere you like, just for a few seconds to reconnect, restore. And even on this position, perceive the power of the breath, the resistance band, offering this information about where does our breath travel. And very gently, we're going to roll ourselves all the way to a Shavasana. Spread your legs out long, your hands resting either sides of you. Make yourself comfortable. Perhaps you would like to put the bolster under your knees. Rest your knees there. Once we're here, take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale, side it out. How does our breath flow in this position? While in Shavasana, we not only have information about the resistance band, we also have the floor that gives us information as well, perhaps not around the navel, but more around our thoracic spine, our thorax. So every time you inhale, not only push out the resistance band, but also feel the resistance of the floor. 
So perhaps around the chest area, we will feel that the air grows up towards the ceiling and not much backwards against the floor because again, the floor is there. Visualize this idea of a 360 breath for the last few moments. Unwrap your resistance band and just leave it there on the floor. And now that we have removed the resistance band, also perceive if the feeling has changed keep a soft breath and i want you to use these last few moments to scan again your body scan your energy how are you feeling right now right here in this class in this shavasana in this moment that you're taking for you and only you you to feel the weight of your body against the floor melting heavy perceive the parts of your body that are resting against the floor and those that are not necessarily touching the floor Check in with your breath and perceive if there's any changes from the beginning of the class to now. Perhaps it's smoother, more elongated breaths. Perhaps you can feel that you can breathe more fully. Use the whole capacity of your body to inhale and exhale and keep this cycle smooth and fluid. And very gently, little by little, we're going to start to bring back some sensation to our physical body. Perhaps you want to wiggle fingers, toes, Circle in the wrists, the ankles. Perhaps you want to stretch your body and find a yawn and very slowly you're going to roll to one side and pause in there. And super gently. Push yourself up to seated. Once you're there, I invite you to place one hand on top of the other at the heart center. And I would like you to make, apply a bit of pressure against your chest and do these circles clockwise and anti-clockwise. Find stillness and inhale through the nose. Exhale, side it out. Take a moment to appreciate yourself for taking the time to connect, to learn and explore our emotions and our feelings, not only through our body, but also through our soul. 
appreciate this time even if you only go to the mat and stay in a shavasana for the whole time or even for just a little bit appreciate your body that allows you to do all these amazing things and looks after you every single step of the way and let's finish with one big releasing breath all together inhale through the nose feel your lungs your chest your belly expanding and side it out palms together <sighs> 